Well, first of all, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much and good afternoon to you as well. Thanks. Um, how about we start with uh, perhaps you introducing yourself and telling us what you do with Shock? Yeah. So my name is Edward Gray. I am a researcher at the CNRS uh, with Human Noom, and I also have a 50% affectation to Daria Eric, where I'm the Officer for National Coordination. And in my, my shock duties, I work mostly with Word Package 7 in the construction of the SSH Open Marketplace, mm -hmm. as well as with Word Package 3 and Word Package 2 on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, the Marketplace, of course, has been a significant development within shock. How would you summarize its unique added value for SSH researchers? I, I think there's really you know, three things we should think about here. Is we should talk about the contextualization, the fact that we put the, the tools and services in line with related publications, data sets, training materials, and workflows. Um, you also have the concept of curation. This is a, a field that moves very quickly, and we make sure that that data is always going to be up to date so that our users are clicking on links that are actually working and can still be useful for them. And then sort of related to both of these is the fact that it's reposing on the community. Uh, our community is deeply involved. We encourage everyone to sign up when they can and participate uh, because it's you know sort of the, 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 the sum is of, of the whole is greater than its parts mm -hmm. and we can make a, a more fluid uh, workshop that way. Yeah. One of the goals and one of the challenges is of course to involve the community. So what would you say is an example of putting researchers center stage? Yeah, you know, I think one of the, the the best things we can do when we talk about this is the workflows. And really the workflows are one of the key added values of the SSH Open Marketplace. Um, and what they are is really real research use cases where you run through step by step and each step can be put interlinked with other entries in the marketplace. So your tool, your services, your training materials, publications, and so on and so forth. So it's a real way to sort of see the way the researcher can come and share their workflow and then have others come in and give suggestions as well. Um, and it's really about this collaborative uh, spirit, which is I really like with digital humanities, um, is the fact that it's such a collaborative, deeply collaborative um, and sharing environment. Perhaps to finish off then, what would be your top tip to give to researchers in SSH for using it? Get involved. Um, I think they really have to get involved and come in and share the tools that they know about mm -hmm. um, because the researchers as a community, we know more how everything works and we know when updates happens and we use these tools every single day. We write the publications, we write the training materials that are useful and when they put their resources into the marketplace, it not only brings more vision to what we're doing as researchers, but also shares this with others. So it really, I, I want to insist upon this idea that really the sum of the, the parts is greater than, than just the individual. Mm -hmm. Edward Gray, thank you for your time. Well, thank you so much. Yes. And enjoy the conference. I am.